hiding out there somewhere. Uh, we thought it'd be a good idea to bring uh, Patrick Osborne in because, well, you got a chance to speak with you, Mr. Perlman. I did. I spoke with him this morning. Speed and heavy emotion. Uh, you're right. His dog, uh, his dog Bane, has uh, is a service dog, and it slipped out of the yard recently. Along, Bane's still gone as of today. Uh, Bane went missing out in Spicewood. Uh, he searched all around Spicewood. Even used a drone to get a bird's eye view, but still to no avail. So Mr. Irwin's now making a plea for help here, and he's offering a $1,500 reward, no questions asked, for the safe return of his dog. Mm -hmm. And he tells me this morning that, you know, Bane's no ordinary dog, but rather he really is the tie that binds him to life in general. Right. So, you know, as we mentioned, Bane went missing in Spicewood. He's a, a black and tan Rottweiler, and while this particular breed uh, does have, you know, some perceive it to be kind of scary, Irwin says, you know, Bane is anything but. And he says, Bane actually has something unique about it, his appearance that may help you identify him if you run across him, and it's something he says will also indicate to you that Bane's not going to be aggressive here. So he says he and many others have combed, you know, every square inch that they could reach there around Spicewood, but to no avail. They used a drone at one they point. They did use a drone. They, wow. they went overhead, you know, just to see if, if maybe when, when Bane and Piper slipped out, uh, you know, they yeah. use a collar. He uses a collar to call to call the dogs back. And so he thought, well, maybe Bane got hurt. And when the, the collar was beeping to have Piper come back, she had to leave him. Yeah. But thinking, all right, well, maybe he's still out there. So if we get a bird's eye view, maybe we could spot him. Didn't see him even there. Wow. So he's not giving up his hope. He's not giving up this search. And here's where you and I come in. We've got pictures of Bane on our website, newsradioklbj.com. We also have avenues in which you can take to get in contact with Mr. Urban or Mr. Irwin or, or nearby veterinarians who he's working with. Um, you know, he says Bane could very well have been picked up by a good Samaritan. Although at this point, that's really not bringing him any sort of peace of mind. Yeah. Because he he kind of says, well, you know, yeah, he wants Bane. Yeah. And, and he says, I, I need this dog. And at this point, the service he, dogs are not cheap. No, they, they're certainly not. And he says, I'm lost without this dog. Absolutely. Really Constant sad. companion. It's, it's his service dog. It's his friend. And, and as he puts it, it's his very existence. It's about uh, I, I, this is, You know, honestly, I I don't know. Okay. So, all right. Um, Newsradioklbj.com. We've got pictures of Bane. And uh, and you can certainly contact us here with any other information well, that you sure. may be you know, curious well, about. Let's do this. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's get this on social media as well. Connor, this, uh, this conversation we had with Patrick and the sound bites there. Uh, and get that picture as well from our website. Let's put it on, and let's get people to share it as much as possible Absolutely. so we can get the picture circulating so folks can get a good a good image of what this dog looks yeah, like. I know that, uh, that you, I hope you don't mind me saying this, I know you're, you're a news veteran, you've covered a lot of stories, mm -hmm. and, and you said this one affected you more than stories that you've covered. You know, I've been doing I've been doing news radio for 10 years, yeah. and uh, it's easy for us after, you know, you hear the story after story after story, it's easy to kind of get a little callous, or, or, or at least, you know, some might perceive it as such. Numb. Uh, yeah. But this is one of those stories that uh, truly has, you know, it really pulls at the heartstrings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In a way it's that... It's a loss. It's a huge loss. Yeah, ab yeah. absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, anything that we could do to, to help the, uh, a man who served his country so yeah. valiantly... Uh, would would, uh, would be very beneficial. There you go. We've got to get that picture out there so folks can see. And we do have three pictures. Uh, it's on the front page of the website, newsradioklbj.com. In a few minutes, we'll have it possible so we can get that picture circulated. Absolutely. Thank you, Patrick. Absolutely. Thank you. Very sad Good job. story. Let's uh, see if we can help, Mr. Irwin, and find a Hope so. dog. Hope so. Needs this dog. Yep. It is uh, 824-836-0590. Listen, uh, there's been a lot of negative heat directed at reporters. The general media, right? Over the past few years, the media is the new target. And that the Trump administration is still continuing to fuel that. CNN with Chris Cuomo talking about, well, the attack on the media and how we're moving closer uh, to a, a, an idea where reporters could be in more danger actually out there. I mean, um, we, we did have a guy that drove to a baseball field and wanted to shoot up some lawmakers. Yes. Well, here's that conversation.
Trump's and Putin's administration, emboldened by the all-out sort of declaration of war on the media. If I'm getting it in the neck, Chris, I can only imagine what someone like you is dealing with. At what point does this become reckless or irresponsible? No, uh, part of it, it is an attack on the First Amendment. It really is. Yeah, it, 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 it is, but, but you, you got to admit, listen, the, the, the overall feeling about uh, about the media has really, really gone south, and the media is largely responsible for that. And everybody listening, including you, yes. you have a role to play yeah. to fix it. You do. The far left and the far right, they are emboldened. It is dangerous. And the fact of the matter is, it is insulting to the memory of the people who have given their lives for the cause for, for providing information to the public to then be told that you are fake media, you do not matter, and what you're doing is false. And quite frankly, every one of us should stand up against that because it is undermining the First Amendment. It is dangerous, making it dangerous for reporters. You are absolutely right. There's going to become a time, and it won't be, you know, it's not going to be too far off. I surmise when we're going to see that a reporter is going to face physical harm because of this. Well, God forbid, nobody, wa to nobody wants to see that. It certainly wouldn't make the decision, uh, the situation, anything any better. And I'll tell you what, I'm in no rush uh, to change positions with Clarissa Ward because I'll take on a war of words, uh, even with the President of the United States, any day. Yeah, so there you go. That's uh, That was on CNN with Cuomo uh, just uh, earlier this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, jump in here at 512-836-0590. Uh, we do have the top three, and uh, the big story is coming up. The Tyler and Don Show.